Welcome to the episode of the Bourbon Experience, and we've got for you today uh, kind of this is one a find that I uh, that I came across. Actually, it was like about uh, four or five months ago, and just forgot to get into it. But uh, this is uh, basically uh, what they call uh, generation uh, of proof from Maker's Mark, and it's their 2000. I mean, it's a nice nice little case here. I know. You know, they got the little latches, you know, golden little latches, and then it opens up, and you know. Oh, so it's smaller bottles, but it's it's their staves from 2020, 2021, oh, 2019, 2020, and 2021. So it's three years of their stave work, and it put in a nice little box. So we thought, well, you know, uh, I like drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we thought we'd give these a taste since uh, since we have them here. Uh, to, you know, one, one. Why so, not drink them? That's a nice presentation. I like that. It's actually, yeah, it is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, the, 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 you must say, you got to say that Makers does a nice presentation with the with the wax on it and all that. I mean, wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Hey. So we're looking at 109 proof on the 2020, 108 proof on the 19, and 109 proof on the 2021. So. Uh, so these ones have been sitting now. The interesting thing is, I found these. I found this at some little podunk little side bar or side you know place in Indianapolis. Walked in there, and I mean, it, you know, all the bottom shelf was super dusty. And I looked up and I saw. I was like, oh, that's really kind of cool. So I pulled it. I was looking at it, blah blah blah, and I was like, thirty-five bucks. For thirty-five. The thirty-five bucks for the whole thing. Can you believe no that? No kidding. No, yep. wow. I don't buy Maker's Mark. I would have pulled the trigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, um, yeah, I'm doing that. So, right. Okay. Well, let's uh, okay. let's get to porn. Get the table. Woo! Makes your teeth go pop, 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 pop. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what should we do? Should we do the 2019 first? Yeah. All right. So 2019. Uh, just to kind of give everyone a little bit of a, a little bit of a background on the 2019. They have two seared French, I don't even know how to pronounce that, Cuerve staves, uh, four <laughs> French, roasted French mocha staves. The writing oh. is super tiny. Yeah, and then four toasted French spice staves. So, um, so a lot of a lot of French going on in this one. Well, uh, but the middle one, wasn't, wasn't that Spanish? It said French. I mean, they're pretty close to each other. They're right next door to each other. Smart ass. I got a nice nose on that one. That's a nice oh. nose. Nice, mm -hmm. super smooth. Um, I'm kind of getting a salted caramel. Yeah. I'm getting some vanilla on that one, actually. Boy, but that is nice and smooth. Yeah. Yeah, it has a what, what, look on the wheel here. Is what, what does the wheel say? Just leave it right there next Yeah. Time. The wheel on the 2019, dark, deep, and rich, and spicy. And spicy, really. Well, the nose doesn't come across spicy. Yeah. Um, it's got nice legs. Yeah, that's definitely spice. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's got a nice... But it's not like a spice that really comes out and and zings you. Boy, that's nice. I like that. Um, I mean, that that is almost kind that's of that's pretty smooth. Like in, in a weird way, like baking spices is a lot of baking yeah. spices. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there's an element of it where it's kind of got like a, almost a rye spice, but without the rye kind of flavors with it. Um, okay. You know, but that but that's that ain't bad. That's not bad at all. Mm -mm. No, no. <clears throat> I, I classify it as tasty. It's been a while since I've had a Maker's Mark, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I haven't really gotten into... Well, and, and they, uh, as I remember, they did a very good job with their stave-type mixing. Mm -hmm. Well, we've done a lot of shows on the, on the ones that they were doing with the, the yeah. OHLQ summer releases. and yeah. Well, the one that we had the five out over at Dad's, yep. I think it was the last time I had any Maker's Mark. So I had one with um, uh, a buddy of mine, and he had been saving just a little bit over from, actually, I think it was, what was the first year they did the state? Wasn't that 2017 or something like that? 
It was, and, he, and he had some left over from the original original hmm. one. It was it was good. Yeah. So, uh, so tasty notes on this one. Uh, strong cocoa notes with a bold rush of spice. It's definitely got the bold rush of spice. I don't know about the cocoa. Um, That's so, what that middle, that second. Um, so I, I think on the after, at the back, mm -hmm. get get that. Mm -hmm. I get that up front now. Now that they, now that's been said, I get that right at the front. That nice little cocoa right at the very very front when I breathe in. That's not bad. I like that. Yeah, after the after the swallow. Uh, no, when I uh, sip and then take a little bit of air in when I take after I take my sip. Okay, so let's take a look at um, the 2020 version. They had three baked American pure staves, three French seared French cuvée. Is or you Quer said uh, okay. Two <clears throat> Maker's Mark 46 staves. So this is. Um, that was their. That was kind of their main one, and then two of the French uh, toasted French spice. But this one it was saying this was more in the uh, sweet range. Uh, no. Yeah, this is the deep and dark and rich and sweet. Okay. Deep, dark, and rich and sweet. Uh, I get a little bit more ethanol uh, punch mm -hmm. on this one. Yep. This was the higher proof of the two, wasn't it? Uh, not by much, if it was. Yeah, it's not. So the 2019 again, that one was 108.6. This is 109.9. And then next the year after that is 109.5. So these are the heavier ones. Yeah. So sweeter, just as smooth. Uh, I'm getting a little bit more of an oak uh, uh, tannin in there. And there's something sweet in there. I can't I can't pick it out. There's something sweet in there, and I don't know what that is. It's kind of like a soft toffee. Maybe that's it. I don't like the nose as much on this one. No. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to go back around. I'm not sure I like the taste as much, but I still like it. Um, it, it's t it, it yeah, it's, it's good, but, but it, it's stronger than I like. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> I think that's just, I don't know if that's the alcohol. Don't I think that's I think the good. ethanol is definitely coming through. Yeah, could be. yeah. And that could be the that could be the case there. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's take a look at this third one here. All right, so the third one. This is 2021, um, and one uh, one stave of the baked American pure, two of the seared French cuvée, or whatever you call that. Four staves of the Maker's Mark 46, so it's heavy in that, and then three in the toasted French spice. Huh, so yeah. it's a little bit heavier in the 46 yeah. on that one. So this one they have actually higher on the spicy, uh, and then leaning on the lighter and brighter. Okay, element. I mean, it's, it's got a better, better hold on the glass. The legs are definitely holding on this one. Yeah, the last one, it was oh, kind of like this one. It was. Light. It was a little light. You, I, like, you like this I, one? I like Yeah. M much better than than uh, this la this last one, which means that tomorrow I I would like them in a different sequence. Yeah, right. That's about right. I get like a smooth oak on this one, a real smooth light oak on the nose. Kind of toasty. Yep. Definitely lighter, brighter. It's even though it says like it's higher on the spice than the first one, it does that's not coming through as strongly as the first one was on the spices for me. But I can see where it is because the very end I get a very I get a lot of I get a lot of spice on it, which I like. Yeah, but it's it, it's it's never the prominent. I mean that that brighter kind of thing, kind of the mouth feels the, the mouth feel on that was nice. Kind of like a sweeter, almost citrusy kind of. Element. I'm getting a bit of a hug off, off of this last one. Yeah, I'm not getting that citrus, but but okay. All right. Well, we got to kind of we got to make some decisions here on nose, taste, and 
Finish? Well, I'm definitely gonna finish them. Mm -hmm. Find a guy! Mm -hmm. No doubt. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah, I didn't even go through their, their notes on the last two. Oh, yeah. So this last one here, profile, confectionery aroma, strong vanilla notes, and a complimentary rich, strong vanilla notes and complimentary rich flavors of pralines and pecan on the palate. Hmm. I wish I was good enough to be able to pull that out, because I'm not, I don't. So pralines, is, as I recall, is kind of yeah. like a... A sweet, like... It not, yeah, it's a sweet. Kind no. of a buttery sweet kind of nut thing going on. Finish is long, for sure. Intense notes of citrus and a savory finish. Hmm. Yeah, that's and that's that's where I was getting the citrus is right right on that end. So on the second one on 2020, yeah, second yeah on 2020, the zesty aroma of fall apples, savory notes of clove, salted caramel on the palate. Long finish with bright notes of fruit. See, and it's funny now you say it because I can pull the apple out like on the nose. I can. That's the second one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, it's, now it smells like a real soft apple. I can, huh. I can get that now. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Like you know, and maybe it's just you know, the power of yeah. suggestion. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, this is this is going to your late summer fe fall festivals. Yeah. Caramel apple. Yeah. Okay. So nose. Let's go. Let's do that first. Let's pick a nose on which one we like the best for nose wise. Okay. Which one do you have? It's the first one followed by the second, then the third. Yep, I'll go with yeah, that. I'm going one, two, three. So yeah. a, a, age, age is the beauty here on the nose. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. I'll go uh, with that. And I'll, I think I will too. Now that I've had a chance to re I, them. I really like the nose on this one. It, yeah. the, the 2019 has a nice, smooth, caramely. Mm -hmm. You know, very much more of a Maker's Mark kind of esque type of a nose on that. Yeah. One. Okay. Well, and after I read this one for the. Yeah. 20 and I got that that caramel apple thing going I'm like okay that's, that's got all. it and okay uh, taste okay. boy that's a tough one that's nope not really oh you mean deciding between the three mm -hmm. <clears throat> one, one three two and then interesting you went one three two that's me too I was one three two so one was my 2019 2021 and 2020 same with you yeah, and, and each step is not even close to each other. You, you know, I, I thought it was going to be a little bit closer, but you're right. I, it's not. Yeah. It's not. Okay. All right. Now the finish. And I think this is going to be, you know. <clears throat> I got to get the finish out of my mouth from this last one before I dive back into this. I already know which one. Oh, don't do you now. I'm, I'm on it, man. I'm on it. For me, uh, the finish. Number three, so 2000, the 2021, uh, to me is the, is uh, has the longest, and, and, and the mouth feel helps with that 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 finish. Um, and then I'm going to go with one and then two. So here, here, and then there. Mouth feel I think plays a lot in that one. That second one really kind of comes across with a pretty stringent finish. That's mm -hmm. yeah, that's that was what I got. It was probably my least, this one's probably my least favorite out of the three. All yeah, together. That's the first bottle you finish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got one, three, two. So you got one, three, two. Yeah. The same as the taste. Gotcha. Okay. Three, one, two. Three, one, two. That's what I had. Because, because this, this has a very strong finish, but it's a good finish. Yeah. I and mean, it, 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 it tastes very nice. This has got a good finish to it. But it's not as strong as that, and yeah. this is strong, a strong finish. But it, but it, 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 you don't like how it, 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 the, strin the stringency from it. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, what was it, what I thought was interesting? So when we did the tasting, we found that there was gulfs between the two. Yeah. There were between each each of the three. With this one on the finish, it, it was this was last. And it wasn't close. It wasn't close, but these two, I thought. The, these two were pretty close, yeah. but I, I felt this one, I think that kind of, that, that uh, the pleasantness of the finish, um, I think it was a lot nicer than this one. Well, I, I say it a lot nicer. 
it just didn't, ended up edging it out. But I enjoyed both finishes. Mm -hmm. um, and this is just another example of makers when they're doing these kind of special release things with their staves. That's the kind of makers to buy. It's not their other stuff, which I stay away from because it burns a hole in my throat. There's a little bit of a finish sheet. I think at the end of that one that I did not get from that, and that was the difference. I still that like the difference for me, except the other way around. Isn't that it? That's funny. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, okay, well, at the end of the day, what we're, what we're looking at, I mean, obviously you can't get the 2019, the 2020, or the 2021s anymore. Those are gone. Um, so you can just go ahead and delete this video. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, you or. can, uh, the, the point is, is that the staves, uh, and what they do with their with their um, with their their bourbons uh, is is, a, is a, now I know that they have discontinued or they're not doing the the guy that the 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 master brewer or the master distiller sorry that was working with the staves has moved on to another company but they're still doing something with their staves they still have a stave you know they still have their 46 and all that kind of stuff and those are and those are good uh, and so that's really what we're looking at is these are they're good bourbons you can go get you know if they do their their releases every year they're worth it they're definitely worth a buy or if you so, find them in a box if you like find this, one, if you find <laughs> them for 30 bucks yeah. go for it yeah exactly <laughs> you the, took the words right out of my mouth <laughs> <laughs> i was pretty happy I, there was only two of them there and, it's, and, and it was and there was like a coat of dust over oh, it yeah. You know, because no one was, you know, yeah. and, and when I was in there, 21, I mean, you found it three years, uh, three, month, three th months ago. Yeah, three, three so, four months ago. And, yeah. and and while I was in there, I was kind of, I was just kind of shopping, kind of walking around and and about six other people came in and they went, they, they did the bud, mer they did a bud style. In right away, picked something up and they're out. And I'm just like, I'm shopping and, you know, so no wonder Everything else had dust on it because their their clientele were. Right. I'm getting my Jack Daniels or I'm getting my Jim Beam, and you know. So it's like a dust line on the shelf of the bottle being slid over. <laughs> <Yeah. that. laughs> exactly. In only certain spots. Yeah. You know, and, wild turkey. And yeah. it was tucked away. There was like it was it was on the top shelf tucked away, and oh. I was kind of, oh yeah. hey, what's that? You know, so. So. That's interesting. So glad I glad I grabbed it. It was worth it. Yeah, so, I, I appreciate it. It was, yeah. it was tasty it was stuff. Tasty stuff. All right. Well, hey, thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. I uh, hope you uh, take take a look at some of the Maker Maker's Mark staves. They're, it's it's really worthwhile. So, uh, thanks a lot for tuning in. It's for all bourbon. Catch you on the next one, guys. See ya.